So a new feature in the September monthly patch, uh, build 31767, um, is what we call Intel Quick Sync Video Decoding. Um, and Intel Quick Sync um, uses the dedicated media processing capabilities of Intex Intel graphics technology to decode and encode fast. Um, basically, it enables the processor to take on other tasks, and it's going to improve uh, system responsiveness. Um, it also really vastly improves the uh, ability of low-power hardware um, to decode uh, very high-resolution video like 16 megapixels or 32 megapixel cameras um, and streams. And, and the end result um, is that you get uh, the ability to decode higher-resolution video on lower-power uh, graphics. Um, so it's all about uh, maintaining your CPU and making sure your CPU do usage doesn't go too high. Uh, which is going to make your client uh, sluggish uh, and your video search and everything slow. So what I've done here is I've set up a, um, on my NX2, uh, which is running Ubuntu Linux, I've got uh, four very high resolution cameras running 4K uh, in, in that area, um, and they're being decoded by the client. So if I pull out the NX2 um, server health monitoring, uh, and we take a look at like what the CPU and the RAM is doing, you can see right now the CPU is up around 86, 87, 90 percent um, while it's decoding this video. So I'm going to go over there to that client and I'm going to go to local settings because uh, this is a client side technology and I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to check this box here use hardware video decoding uh, and we're going to see what it does to the CPU usage on the NX2 device itself. Again, NX2 is set up with these cameras decoding. Uh, it's running Ubuntu Linux um, so this this works on both Ubuntu Linux uh, and um, Intel, uh, sorry, Windows operating systems. So you, it doesn't matter which operating system you have, you still should be able to use this client side decoding uh, feature. So I'm going to walk over there. I'm going to do just what I did now. Go to local settings, advanced, and then I'm going to enable hardware decoding, and we're going to see what it does to the CPU again, which is hovering around 90% right now. So you can see the CPU dropped off from around 90% to around 60%. So you're getting about a 30% CPU uh, um, decrease, which is going to make your computer much more snappy and allow you to do other things, multitask and that sort of stuff. So it has a really significant impact. And this is important for the life of a CPU as well. Um, you know, the more um, stress you put on the CPU, um, the higher it runs, the hotter it's going to get. The hotter it gets, the more likely it is to fail, right? So this is Intel Quick Sync uh, desktop client side video decoding. Uh, and you can see it has a massive impact on uh, CPU usage. So there's no real reason not to use it um, if you're running an Intel chipset. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to um, save you that CPU usage. It's going to make your computer much more responsive. And it's going to allow you to decode much higher resolution video uh, on the client itself. So check it out. Hopefully that's clearer than the last one I did because I forgot to show the setup. So, um, Intel Quick Sync Video Decoding on uh, September 2020 monthly patch, build 31767. Thanks, guys.